are going through free code camps, JavaScript algorithms and data structures course. We are in basic JavaScript right now and we are on challenge 27. So we are going to escape sequences in strings. So basically what this is telling us here is that um, special characters can be escaped inside of a string. There are two reasons for escaping to allow you to use characters that you may not otherwise be able to type out, such as a carriage return, and to allow you to represent multiple quotes within a string without JS misinterpreting what you mean. So in that, that meaning, it would end the string or close the string early, and uh, it would break it up, and we don't want that. So these are the keys of what to use in JavaScript um, to escape sequences. So basically what we're going to do is create this, it looks like, uh, using the variable mySTR. So uh, the indentation for second line is achieved with the tab and not spaces. Okay, no problem. So we just want to type this out with these to make it formatted in this manner. So we can say first line, camel cased. Uh, and then we need a new line, so we can say backslash n, because we have new line here. And then we want second line tabbed over. So we can say backslash T. And then we want second line with a backslash in front of it. So we have it on a new line, tabbed over, and now double backslash to add one backslash. And then we can say second line. As you can see, this is looking pretty similar. And then we need another new line and backslash n for that, and then third line. There we go, there's our output. So that looks pretty identical to that. Uh, let's see if it likes it. And that's it, that's all we have to do for that one. This is something I think you'll very rarely use in JS, uh, but definitely good to know, definitely good to have this little challenge on. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.